here we have a real world type of problem. This one's about half-life um, that uses this exponential function. Let's read it. It says the radioactive substance cesium-137 has a half-life of 30 years. The amount a of t in grams of a sample of cesium-137 remaining after t number of years is given by the following exponential function. So they've got the amount equals 725 times 1 half to the t over 30 power. This is the formula for half-life of um, a decaying radioactive substance. Uh, this amount here is how much you start with. And I know that because if I put in 0 for t, it would be 0, 1 half to the 0 power, which is 1. So at year zero, you have 725 grams of the substance. And every, every 30 years, half of this stuff goes away. So uh, if we want to figure out how much is left after 20 years or how much is left after 80 years, we would just put those numbers in for t and solve this equation. Not too tough, although um, raising something, a fraction to another fractional power, can get a little confusing on a calculator. I'm going to use the, the Google calculator with parentheses to try to make it a little clearer. So let's see if we can do that. First of all, let's plug in 20 years here. If I plug in 20 for t, my power is 20 over 30, or really just 2 thirds. So we're raising this to the 2 thirds power. I want 1 half to the 2 thirds power, and then I want to multiply it by 725. So let's see how well we can do that on the Google Calculator here. So I'm going to put in uh, 0.5, and then we're going to hit x to the y. I'm going to put in parentheses again. I'm going to put in 2 divided by 3, and the parentheses there. And let's just hit equals. OK, so this is 1 half to the 2 thirds power. Now I want to multiply that by 725. Oops, I didn't want that. We'll hit equals. So we get 456. Well, if we round that to the nearest gram, we get 457. So let's write that down. So after 20 years, we have 457 grams left. And that makes sense because if the half-life is 30 years, um, we haven't reached quite 30 years. We should have a little bit more than half left, and we do. Well, let's try after 80 years. We should have less of this substance left after 80 years. Uh, if I put in 80 for t, we've got 80 over 30. So our power that we're raising this to is the 8 thirds power. So I'll take 1 half to the 8 thirds power and then multiply it by 725. Let's try that. So 0.5. And we'll go x to the y, parentheses, 8 divided by 3 and parentheses, and we'll hit equals there, and then we'll multiply that by 725. And we've got 114 grams left there. So after 80 years, we only have 114 grams. And if you think about that, one, two, and a little more half-lives have passed. So you'd cut this in half, you'd cut it in half again, and then take a little bit more away. That makes sense that we're at about 114 grams. So that is how to evaluate an exponential function that applies to a real-world situation.